Yo, in today's video, we'll be looking at creepy and strange TikTok conspiracy theories that will make you question reality. So stick with me, y'all are gonna wanna see this. But uh, anybody that's uh, following me, you have to go look and see if I post a video because TikTok shut my notifications off. They're not notifying none of my followers. So anyways, that was after a 1.9 million view video on the Statue of Liberty on Google Earth. This also has to do with the Statue of Liberty. You see these uh, site plans here? That one's from the Library of Congress, and these are from National Park Services right here. So you can see how they change things throughout the years. But when you turn this and look at it the right way, it looks like half of a face or a mask. Well, not half of it, less than half, but like this piece is missing. So I did a mirror image overlay, laid it over the top of that, and drug them across each other with equal transparency. Let me show you what I found here. What do y'all think? Mm -hmm. Coincidence? The Statue of Liberty sits on a mask? Let me show you something else. And you see the bullhorns here? Oh, snap. The bullhorns see that. and the ears right here. Batman. Look at my other videos if you want to know what I'm talking about. Here's the interesting part here. You see these? Look like wheel cogs. And this looks like chains. It's almost like a little cinem cinematic uh, scene. As you drag these across the top of each other, it opens this up right here where the Statue of Liberty sits. And you see what's right there? Let me get you a better view of that. Y'all see that? By the feet, I'd say that's probably a rabbit. And they're just showing us this is part of the rabbit hole. And that mask is just showing us everything's masked. Lucifer is Lucifer the light bearer. That's who the Statue of Liberty is. Oh, but check this out. So my opinion, them plants are just showing us the Statue of Liberty is masked. Man, look at that. I couldn't help myself but lay it over the top of it. And look how, look how well it matches up. It does line you up pretty well. You got right here. Bell worship. You got your Batman ears. And that's for a reason. Watch my other videos, you'll understand. Um... So Lucifer the light bearer, and they're just showing us right here that it's, everything's just masked, you know, to us it is. Tell me what y'all think. This is the stat Statue of Liberty's original face that didn't get used. Oh, by the way, take a look right here. But anyway, y'all think this is a accident? Y'all think it just turns out to be an accident? I don't think so. That's my opinion. But uh, it's time to wake up, y'all. Later. People are waking up. Watch this. So you can pick and choose. What it came down to for me is this. I see homeless folks in the streets of New York all the time that are American citizens. I damn sure see them in California. We've got poor, impoverished, starving people who were born and raised in this nation. How in the hell do we come up with a 52, $53 million pilot pro program for illegals, but folks who are here legally are born here, we don't have enough of them. Just like we could come up with billions for Ukraine. But somehow, some way, we can't fix the homeless problem. I'm down for helping Israel. I'm down for helping address the situations with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, okay? I'm down for helping the Ukrainians and fighting off Russia. What about poor and desolate citizens here? How the hell do you print money? That's the thing, man. They ain't gonna never give the Americans money. I think the plot here is to kind of like tear down America in a way. For foreign countries but you don't print that money to help eradicate folks that are starving right here in the streets of america who were born and raised here this is what i'm talking about and so when you have something like that what's the one way to eradicate it yes you got to have a flourishing economy 
Yes, you can't have inflation. Yes, you can't be on the verge of a recession. Milk don't need to cost seven dollars. Bread don't need to cost five dollars. Don't get me started with how much sugar costs. You can talk about employment all you want to. You can talk about the labor participation rate. But guess what? If you ain't making no damn money and you got to get two jobs to pay the same prices or to buy the same amount of stuff that you used to buy and the price is higher than it used to be because of inflation, then guess what? What are you really accomplishing? That's why Trump is on the verge of getting elected, re-elected. Because when he was in office, there was a flourishing economy. Make America great again. Somebody smarter than me, please tell me what the hell this is. I don't have a clue, and I don't want to wake up dead in the morning. But it just keeps coming out the ground and stopping and coming kind of. Bro, you got a little too close talking about you don't want to wake up dead in the morning. You, It's too late now. You didn't got all the whistle, whatever that is. If it's poison to some, bro, man, look. <laughs> Like it pulsates a little bit, but it ain't hot, it ain't cold, it ain't like steam or nothing, it ain't got no smell to it, it's just there, and it's just coming out of this one spot, I don't know. That's weird, anybody ever seen anything like that before? So quick thought, you know how we say we have to eat food to get energy to be able to function, right? And all the energy from the foods come from the sun, right? The plants feed the animals, the animals feed the people, right? So for a year and four months, I haven't been eating no food, no cooked foods. And I learned that if you can get all the energy from second hand and third hand from the sun, why not just get it from the sun first hand? It's called prana. And by breathing properly and meditation, you can literally get the same energy you get from eating the foods from the sun. Now, don't say this is impossible because for a year, almost four or five months now, I haven't been eating no cooked foods, no raw foods, and now I've been just eating walnuts, cashews, and pecans. Occasionally, I eat some hummus, but food, no. So it's real. It's true. You can get the, all your energy and everything you need, the sources from the sun. It's called prana, breathing, spirit. Check it out. Mm, better go sunbathing, y'all. Get some of that sun food. We're developing, through technology, an ability for consumers to measure their own carbon footprint. What does that mean? That's where are they traveling? How are they traveling? What are they eating? What are they consuming on the platform? So individual carbon footprint tracker. Violence. I think that, uh, you know, it's more or less what? because... What? what did he just say? Wow. Individual carbon footprint tracker. What the fuck just happened? The over. Shut, shut it off. Shut it off. No, no, shut it off. Get the fuck Who out of here, Daryl. I am Marshall's publicist, and I'm telling you to pull uh, a fucking plug no, right now. this is gold. I am not cutting this interview off. This is the yeah. best interview we've ever done. I'm about to do this. Three That's days crazy. of darkness will occur when the Earth passes through the photon belt. This is as the Earth enters and passes through this belt. There will be no sunlight, nor moonlight, on the Earth's surface. Photons are electromagnetic particles that travel at the speed of light and will act as a barrier or temporary shield around the Earth, preventing the light of the sun or the stars from passing through it. This is expected to last 72 hours or five days. There are no breaks or periods of light. During the three days, only darkness. Recommendations. Stock up on food, water, candles, other essential items. All sunlight will be blocked and solar panels will not generate energy. Stay at home and avoid traveling for safety reasons. The sunlight will return to the earth, marking the beginning of the golden age. So I just found hey. something very strange about this game, Tekken 6. Keep in mind, the number 6. You see, now there was a boss creature in this game named Azazel. As you see, this monstrous creature that's behind me. Now, if you do a little research on who he was in the game, Azazel was an ancient demon who was sealed under the earth. It was foretold that he would awaken again in the time of war and chaos. 
Now I'm like, hmm, that name sounds familiar. Where did I hear it from? <laughs> the Book of Enoch. You see, you see right there? Azazel has done, who has taught all unrighteousness on the earth. It has revealed eternal secrets, which were in heaven, which man was striving to learn. And where was he bonded to? He was bonded hand and foot and cast it into darkness, making its opening in the desert. And upon him rough jagged rocks and let him abide there forever covering his face and may not see the light again until the great judgment day and then he shall be casted into the fire and i know enoch in heaven right now sounding like soldier boy <laughs> they just stole my whole story bar from bar word from word if you anything like me you love music when i tell y'all music is my world it's my world but it's also something we have to be very mindful of. We need to discuss the frequencies behind music. Definitely. Did you know that frequency is the only thing that can enter your body without consent? Did you know if you change the frequency, you change the feeling? Because frequency alters our feelings. Did you know that music alters your subconscious mind? How do you think you catch on to them lyrics so quick? Did you know that although we listen to music that have choruses, we shouldn't really be listening to that? because we should be going with the natural flow of things. And the natural flow is not repetitive loops like we hear in chorus. And that's because we live in, in repetitive loops in life, period. How many people feel like they in a, a loop right now? They just trapped in a loop. You know, you, you wake up, you do your daily activities, you go to sleep, you wake up, you do what you do every other day, you go back to sleep. You might get a couple days on the weekend and usually you do the same thing that you did the last weekend on this weekend just for you to wake back up. And it's kind of like a loop that you're stuck in, right? Have you ever heard of infrasonic frequencies? This is like 19 hertz or lower. And basically this is a frequency that will put you in the state of fear immediately. Think about when you go watch a scary movie. If you were to turn that scary movie all the way down, the volume all the way down, and just watch the movie for what it is, will it still be scary to you? Nine times out of 10, it won't be. Cause it's the music that's making mm -hmm. us fearful. And if you're a fan of rap or hip hop, then the 808 frequency or the 808 drum is very familiar to you. But is this a good frequency or a bad one? Vibrations, the 808. The 808 is known to trap you, trap your soul. The 808 is this deep bass and the vibrational frequency of the 808, it keeps you locked into your root and your sacral chakra. Mm. And it's so addictive because it's sexually stimulating to the body. So people be listening to the music and they say it's not necessarily the lyrics, it's the beat. You are sexually stimulated by the beat you listening to. And that's why you put it on replay because you got to keep hearing it. Yeah, and you yeah, don't yeah. you don't realize you're getting a release of oxytocin and dopamine from this. And it's sexually stimulating you. You think you just like the beat because it sounds good. No, it sounds good to your whole entire body. Yeah. And so, yes, music, it can be used as a weapon. They have something called sound weapons, DARPA. DARPA out of the USA creates that. something. It's called the energy sound weapon. And they used it over there in Afghanistan where they were turn on a certain frequency and turn it up as loud as possible it makes your ear bleed mm. it, it gets you very confused it have you foaming at the mouth and it can bust your heart you can google really? it right now it's called a direct energy sound wave weapon and it sits on top of a truck yeah, and whenever they want to disperse a crowd because they use the same thing in ferguson i'm from st louis i'm yeah, from yeah, ferguson yeah. they use that on us in ferguson during the riots I man you would point that mug towards a crowd and turn it up and it will it, it gives you this type of frequency that your ears are not used to hearing because remember we only hear within a certain range and yeah. see within a certain range once you go outside of that field it's very very distortive to the body next let's listen to someone who was in the music industry and unfortunately taken out because he was exposing too much about these frequencies and the negative impacts that they have on us. 15 years old, I was doing um, mm. sound engineering. So I was playing with frequency. I was playing with equalizers. Now, I think I think it's a, 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 a it's not a sonar wave. It's, or it's a, I forgot it's like an alpha wave or a sonar wave or something like that. I basically I figured I figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency of vibration, right? So there's kilohertz. Well, sorry, there's hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, right? And then there's, I think it's ultrahertz. If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, like, if I want you to astral project, right? You know what astral projection is? If I want you to, ast if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, 
Or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. You may be familiar with the numbers 369, which is said to be the universal keys or the keys to the universe. Keep that information in mind for what we're going to discuss next. So the frequencies we should actually be listening to is called Sophigio frequencies, and these are used in sound healing. So let's go through the frequencies and see what they are used for. 174 hertz, physical pain relief and stress relief. 285 hertz, tissue restoration and healing. 396 hertz, guilt and fear diminishment. 417 hertz, trauma healing. 528 hertz, relaxation and sleep improvement. 639 hertz, improvement in mental balance. 741 hertz, detoxification of the mind and body. 852 hertz, nervousness and anxiety relief. And 963 hertz, increased positive energy and clarity. Now, if you guys remember from one of my previous videos, 963 hertz is the God frequency. Y'all know I love numerology, right? So I got to playing with these numbers and I started adding them up. Y'all, when you break down every single one of these numbers, it adds up to either three, six, or nine, the universal numbers. And that's not a coincidence. Like I told y'all before, I love me some music, but I have to be very intentional and cautious of the things that I'm listening to on a daily basis. And I urge you all to do the same so that you're not lowering your frequencies and inviting negative and evil spirits into your body. Peace, love, and gratitude for watching. I'm about to go listen to some instruments, y'all. <laughs> Straight up. So we all remember this jiggly neck root creature from Harry Potter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the Mandric. Now, I did came across something that's very interesting. Now we're seeing one of these creatures in real life. Yeah, a humanoid root creature. And I don't think this is a coincidence. Look at the head. Look at the eyes. Look at the nose. Look at the mouth. The hands, the body, the legs. Do I need to continue? Very, very humanoid. Two eyes, two nostrils, two nipples. And the only thing this do is make you really scratch your head. Because now we remember when the elders told us, you see something in these movies, they didn't got that idea from somewhere in real life. I guess the real question that we should be asking is, what is this alienated root creature that we're seeing behind me? Now, can I get a strange time in the comments? Because we're living in some strange times. Speak of the resources of Antarctica. What are they? What, uh, what are the natural resources there? Well, uh, we've found enough coal within 180 miles of the South Pole in a great uh, ridge of mountains. It's not covered with snow. Enough to supply the whole world for quite a while. Well, uh, that's, that's the coal. Now, there's evidence of uh, other, many other minerals. Uh, we are pretty sure there's oil. Now, that coal shows the bottom of the well. Now, by far, the coldest spot in the well. Where that coal is gets 100 below zero in the winter. Well, uh, it was once tropical. So uh, we think there's oil there, and there's evidence, probably uranium there. Is it any secret? Is there uranium there? That would be the only thing that would be practical to uh, actually go after, I suppose. Everything else would be economically uh, unfeasible, wouldn't it? Well, as we recklessly expend our resources, the time will come, and we can, we'll can we have to go after that stuff then. Well, you know, I, I avoided what you said about uranium. I'm not sure about that. I don't want to have the world fight over the Antarctic. And Robert, is there a competition? But strangely enough, there's left in the world today an area as big as the United States, that's never been seen by a human being. And that's beyond the pole on the other side of the South Pole from middle America. And it's, uh, I think it's quite astonishing that there should be an area as big as that unexplored. That's a tremendous So challenge. there's a lot of adventure left mm. down at the bottom of the world. What? Not only to live in, but militarily. Hey, hey, TikTok fam. So I'm a little bit of a mess right now because I just woke up from a nap. I never, ever do this. I don't ever take naps. I don't know why. I just don't allow myself to do it. But here we are two days in a row and I've taken naps. I have been so overly drained lately. So anyway, sunglasses it is because I'm a hot mess. But anyway, okay. So from my last video, there were so many comments that I wanted to get to. Um, and I'm going to because so many of them have been blowing my mind. Because it is 
absolutely wild to me how many people have experienced the same thing. And even going through some of the other videos that I've seen, like I went down a freaking rabbit hole and I found so many people talking about this. And then scrolling through all of these videos in the comment section, blowing my mind because you have hundreds of people talking about how they've had the same experiences of people calling their names when nobody's home, they're home alone. Or even if their family members have been home, they've heard their name called or somebody say, hey, or maybe call you mom or say dad. Or I'd be doing that all the time, y'all. I swear. And it don't be nobody here. I think it might just be because I've heard dad so much over my life, you know, from the kids, just dad, dad, dad. That's like stuck in my brain. So it might just be like a replay of a memory or something like that. And then I think that I hear it, but I really don't hear it. Or whatever. And no one in the family is like, no, I, I didn't call you. But anyway, as much as these videos freak me out, it's the comment section that gets me because there are so many people who are having these experiences and it seems like it's so much more now. And I don't know if it's because of social media and now we have the way to like communicate with everybody and people are more open to talk about it or if this is something that's been going on for a while and people have just been keeping quiet because you know, you don't want to be deemed as a, a psychopath. You don't want people to think you're crazy. So have this many people been having these experiences for this long or is this new? Or is it just ramped up now for a reason? And that's why this comment right here was making me think. There were a couple of people who said the same thing. Now we have most definitely talked, you guys, you and I, we've talked about the timelines merging and timeline jumping and the shift that's been happening and that seems weird nothing seems normal everything seems to be really off people are remembering things differently you know with like mandela effects so that's that's the something strange is happening people are feeling differently people it's it's hard to explain but there's something different and off with the world we know this but what if and i'm not saying that it is but is this uptick in some weird spiritual things happening, some otherworldly things happening. Is this happening because of our timelines merging? Our timelines slowly like merging together and then something weird is happening with these other dimensions coming through. I don't even know if that makes sense, but it's just got me thinking and wondering, is that something that's possible? Is that something that could possibly happen? And if that is the case, why is it that only certain people are being affected? Why isn't everyone feeling or noticing that something is off or different or having these experiences? Is it because certain people are just more sensitive to things? Is it the ones who are feeling like there's something off with the world? Because not to jump around in subjects, but we did talk about this also is like, there's something strange with people, how people seem so disconnected and almost like they are just like soulless walking around. We talked about this way, way back, like last year, months and months ago, where we discussed how something just seemed off with people. Like, you get, like I, I, you get like bad energy from certain people. Like you're in the grocery store or in the, you know, the mall or anywhere and people just seem so dark. Is it because the state of the world is shit or is there something else going on? But anyway, things just seem different and strange. Like, you know, the moon seems different for a lot of people. Like even for me, I, I used to do moon talk videos all the time where I'm like, I don't ever remember seeing the moon like that before. And then you have people like, it's been like that all the time. Or the way the sun is or the way the clouds are, you know, it's something is not right. No guys, I think that, you know, what it is is a lot of people are awakening to new knowledge in a way, right? They have more access to more knowledge, the knowledge that they didn't have before. And upon reading this knowledge and, you know, seeing the things that are going on because of social media, because of the internet, they now think that, yo, something's wrong with the world. When all in actuality, something's always been off with the world. The world been off forever, you know? Like if the world wasn't off, why would we have wars and people in poverty and people starving and all this other stuff that's going on, you know, murder and all of this. So something's always been wrong with the world. I think it's just now people are starting to wake up and become more spiritually within themselves. And because of that, they think there's a huge shift. And that shift is mentally, it's individually, but it's throughout a whole bunch of people. So a whole bunch of people thinking the same way, of course you're going to feel like it's a shift. And I'm glad we're all on the same page now. Everyone who has been Americanized have been confused, no matter what country it is. 
these countries that have been Americanized are confused, and I see that this society is very much confused to the extent that they cannot cross the street without getting run over, so they have to have stop on the red light and go on the green one. Because we, we live in a confused society. And we can take a look on simple things such as even food that we eat today. We have become so confused that we don't know what we're eating. All the instant food that we find on the shelves, we read the ingredients on there. The ingredients that have a word on there that goes from across the box there. What educated man knows what that means? With all the education that we have in our universities, we don't even know what that word means. But we're eating it. So actually, we don't even know what we're eating. We're so far removed from natural way of life. Uh, we don't know what we're eating, we, and we don't know what we're drinking. We're just here. And as I see, everyone becomes a robot. Even his mind is controlled. So no one makes his own decision. I you ever been down the Paramount rabbit hole? Yeah, watch these 22 stars go and hover over the waters and then congregate over the Paramount. Para means what? Means breath. Breath means what? Well, breath means spirit and it hovered over the waters in Genesis. So we have, count them, 22 stars, Paramount, Paranormal Mountain. What could be the Paranormal Mountain? Well, I'll tell you what, it's Mount Hermon. What's crazy is, in the Book of Enoch, 200 angels fell on Mount Hermon and congregated, and there was 22 leaders that were named. Enoch chapter 6, and you can pause and read, but 200 angels, 22 of those were named, and these are all the angels that fell down and congregated at Mount Hermon mm, to talk about... That's, <clears throat> that's crazy, because they say... They say that it was a lot of fallen angels, and these fallen angels were stars, basically, and these stars are fallen angels. Yo. On how they were going to basically take over the world with unrighteousness. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I'll give you the opportunity to pause and read all of this, because in Enoch chapter 6 through 10, there's some interesting things that I personally feel like speak to what's going on right now. And when it comes to stars, Revelation 9 talks about a star fell from heaven and he was given the key to the bottomless pit. And Revelation 9, 11 talks about Apollyon. Mount Hermon means the mountain of the chief. What chief? Could it be that chief star that looked like lightning falling from heaven? Hey, Yeshua saw it. It's so funny that stars, falling stars, are referred to as angels, and angels referred to as stars. And you got this paramount with 22 of these named stars, and the name Hermon meaning devoted to destruction, and in German it means soldier. So this is the mountain of the chief where 22 soldiers met to talk about destruction. And it's so weird that celebrities are called stars. And there's the Hollywood Walk of Fame with all of these stars that are named. I'm wondering if these fallen angels have inhabited bodies and took it over to bring more destruction to the earth. Because it seems that Hollywood and the music industry, they all promote unrighteousness and ungodliness. And it's like they're trying to spread it across the world. And if this Paramount is paying homage to this situation that happened in the Book of Enoch, well, then that would have to mean that they know exactly what they are doing, and they're doing it on purpose. This is just the tip of the iceberg, because every 22 of these leader angels that are named, their names have meanings. They lead the 200 fallen angels that bring unrighteousness to the world. All the evil, the freaking magic, and all this crazy stuff that's going on. Superb owl rituals and all this creepy Masonic ritual. Oh, did you know that Mount Hermon is actually on the 33 degree north longitude? 33. Oh, and one third of the angels fell with Lucifer and one third out of 100% just so happens to be 33.33%. This is just to get you started. Start going down this rabbit hole. Find out for yourself. 
Look, they know what they're doing. They're paying homage to these fallen angels because, hey, they might just be the fallen angels. So next time you see a falling star, don't wish upon it. Mm. Yo, he had a lot of knowledge with that one. What if these fallen angels or these stars, as he says, can inhabit the bodies of these Hollywood stars? Right? And that's why there's so much demonic stuff going on in Hollywood and, and the music industry and the film, all of that stuff. It's because it's run by these fallen angels. But yeah, guys, these are some of the most creepy and strange TikToks that are out there. If you like the content, don't forget to subscribe, turn your notification bell on, and until next time, YouTube, peace.